Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the second video of investment account chapter of C Inter Group 1. Now in this video, we are going to solve this illustration one of the study material. But before going ahead, let me tell you that in the previous video, the first video of investment accounts, we have discussed the concept of the chapter and many many things really yeah we have understood the meaning the accounting standard 13 which deals with the accounting for investments and we have seen the classification of investment as per as 13 current investment and long-term investment yes and we have understood the meaning of this and the valuation also right then what we have done is i've told you that this chapter what we are going to do is we are going to categorize mainly this chapter into two fixed income bearing securities and variable income bearing securities yeah this is how the questions will come in the exam right you can get also mix also mix of fixed income as well as the variable income also but how are we going to study this chapter first we are going to only focus on the fixed income bearing securities solve the problem of these yeah after understanding the whole concept solve the problems and then later we will move on to the variable income bearing securities right yes so that's what we are going to do we have understood what these are and then we try to understand the concept of come interest and x interest price yeah we started understanding all the concept of fixed income bearing security so this is one of the concept of that yeah come interest and x interest price we have to have a proper understanding of this yeah, it's just the two way of quoting the prices x interest come interest x interest means what just the cost of the investment and if you include the accrued interest in that you get come interest that's all right then what cost of the investment yes what is cost of the investment see cost includes what anything which is incurred to acquire the investment will be added to the cost of the investment such as brokerage taxes fees duties and everything yes gst all these things but when you sell the investment what will happen you have to deduct all the selling expenses yeah but when you sell you subtract all the expenses related to selling is that clear yes then we saw the format of investment account which is very important so please watch the previous video okay to understand the in the format properly the format is very important and we have discussed this in hindi and english mix right so that's very important this format so many notes are there and all yeah and then we also discuss this working note yes this working note you will use while solving the problem we'll see this now while solving this problem yeah so yeah that's all please go watch the previous video okay so now let's start this video let's solve this problem now here we have the question let's go through it once let's try to understand what is being said over here so here we have the illustration one see here in 2011 y limited issued 12 percent fully paid debentures of rupees 100 each interest being payable half yearly on 30th september and 31st march of every accounting year so till here we come to know that this company y limited issued what 12 percent fully paid debentures of face value rupees 100 right and the interest on those debentures is payable on 30th september and 31st march half yearly yeah, every six months so what are these dates 30th september and 31st march these dates are called as due dates yeah when the interest is payable on the debentures yeah these are called due dates 30th september and 31st march right so that's what we come to know from the first para and then what they are saying on 1st december 2012 bull and bear company purchased 10,000 of these debentures at 101 come interest price also paying brokerage at 1% of come interest amount of the purchase yes i've told you in the previous video that the question will tell you how to calculate brokerage yeah the question is exactly telling you calculate the brokerage on come interest one percent of come interest yeah so you are clear with the calculation yes and the come interest price is given in the question yes that's also there either the come interest price or the x interest price will be given to you in the question now here come interest price is given so now you have to think what is this if come interest price is given that means what in that there is accrued interest as well as x interest so how will you calculate x interest simple just deduct the accrued interest from the come interest you will get the x interest hey can come interest diya hua hai you have been given come interest just subtract the accrued interest from that you will get x interest simple right so that's what you have to do and you have to calculate with that working note yeah we'll do that so this is happening on 1st december 2012 yeah on 1st december 2012 what is happening on this date you are purchasing the dementors yeah by you i mean bull and bear company this is investment account you have to see from the point of view of bull and bear company the investor not why limited yeah we are not doing issue of debentures or redemption of debentures no we are doing investment accounts so see from the point of view of investor bull and bear company right you already know that yes so that's what is happening then what 
then they are saying on 1st March 2013 the firm sold all of these debentures at 106 come interest price now on 1st March 2013 what they are doing they are selling off the debentures all of the debentures they have said right this is a simple question actually yeah so all of the debentures are sold on 1st March 2013 and what is happening the come interest price is given again you can easily calculate the exchange interest price just by deducting the accrued interest right and then they are saying again paying brokerage at 1% of come interest amount now remember what did I tell you that whenever whenever you sell you have to deduct all the cost yeah whatever the selling expenses are and whenever you purchase you have to add all the expenses all the purchasing expenses with the purchase price and you will get the cost yeah you remember that right yes so keep that in mind then what they're saying prepare investment account in the books of bull and bear company for the period of 1st December 2012 to 1st March 2013 you have to prepare the investment account for what period for only this period okay year end cover year end is on 31st March when the due date due date is equal to year end yeah due date is equal to year end okay so exception we have seen that exception right in the previous video when the due date is not equal to year end what we have to do yeah, if there is an opening balance we have to do that interest receivable and all those things right so that's not there okay here the due date is equal to year end right and they are saying prepare the investment account for the period of 1st December to 1st March 2013 so now the due date will not come in this period the due date will not come itna hi ka account banana hai ya only for this period you have to prepare the investment account so due date will not come you will not pass the due date entry i mean the due date posting in the investment account yeah we'll see that don't worry so we have purchased the debentures on 1st december and we have sold off on 1st march yeah so in accrued interest rahega. when you purchase the debentures what you have to do you have to pay the interest and when you sell you have to receive the interest yeah we have discussed that a lot in the previous video yeah so now let's solve the problem or a or cheese right one more thing see here here what is given in the first line why limited is should fully pay debentures right now you must have heard from your regular classes or from your friends or someone that whenever the company issues yeah then there will not be any brokerage involved because company is directly issuing right ha, wo baat sahi hai. when the company issues directly and you purchase the debentures directly from the company then there will not be any brokerage but here are you purchasing the debenture directly from the company no you are not see in 2011 they issued the debentures and you are purchasing in 2012 right so uska matlab what brokerage hey brokerage hey guys may right if you are purchasing directly from the issuing company then there will not be any brokerage but here you are purchasing from some third party investor not from directly from the company this issued word right it is given just to confuse you so that you will get you know you will mess up the entire solution right so yes so now let's solve the problem yeah that's clear right so let's solve the problem now here we have the solution let's understand how to solve this problem how to prepare the investment account so the first thing that you have to understand is the format right so what we do here is we are preparing the investment account in the books of the investor bull and bear right and we are preparing this investment account for the period of 1st december to 1st march 2013 as per the requirement in the question right so and the security here the investment is what 12 percent debentures of y limited so that's also you have to take in the bracket script 12 percent debentures of y limited i've told you this in the previous video we prepare investment account for each separate investment you make right whatever investment you have made you have to open a separate investment account for each investment yes yes so that's what this investment account is for what for these 12 percent debentures of y limited yes so now here in this question we don't have the opening balance nothing right it's a simple problem if we had opening balance of investment we would have taken it over here and if the due date was not equal to year end then we had to cancel the interest receivable the accrued interest so for that also we had to make a separate posting but here it's not like that nothing is there due date is equal to year end okay and the opening balance is also not there it's a simple question the closing balance is also not there right and we are not reaching till the date of till the due date also yeah we have sold off the investment as well as we are not reaching till the due date also because we are asked to prepare the investment account just for this period yeah until here we have sold off the investment the debentures right so the due date entry the due date posting will also not come this buy bank account right so the only thing that is happening in this problem is the purchase of debentures the purchase will always come on the debit side to bank and the sale of debentures by bank is that clear yes 
and then profit and loss we have to see that's all it's a simple problem and the main thing the format you have to understand properly yeah here what are we doing either hum sirf investment account nahi bana rahe here we are not just preparing the investment account we are also preparing the interest account you see three columns are there nominal value interest amount right so amount column is what investment account isko debit balance hota hai investment account yeah investment is what asset it always has debit balance and then interest is what this is an income for us right interest on investment account so this is a nominal account so it will have which balance this is a nominal income account so it will have credit balance isn't it yes so that's what yeah we have discussed this see the notes here purchase debit side sell credit side all these things yeah investment account is asset debit balance interest is income so credit balance and all these things we have seen yeah and then we have one more column as you can see nominal value or face value now why is this see this is just for the convenience just for the calculation of interest we can calculate the interest properly right because interest is always calculated on face value isn't it interest is always calculated on face value so so that's why we have nominal value column okay and never tally that column okay it's just for the convenience right so now let's understand how it is this happening now i've already told you that whenever we purchase we take it on the debit side of investment account because investment account will get debited it will increase right yeah and the money will go isn't it so to bank account you have to take right and when you sell investment will reduce yeah your investment will reduce and your money will you will receive the money so buy bank account the amounts you will have to take so how are we going to take these amounts and all we have to understand that so let's do that so see here the first thing that you have to do is whenever you purchase or sell you have to go to this working note yeah this working note which i have you know shown you now do i have that see here here i have the format of that working note what do you take over here date of transaction face value or nominal value whatever you want to call then the range of the period from to number of month x interest interest come interest brokerage net of brokerage now what is this net of brokerage this is the x interest only yeah when you will calculate the brokerage yeah as per the examiner you can calculate the brokerage as per the examiner on come interest on x interest or whatever the examiner wants yeah but then you will add and subtract the brokerage only from the x interest so then x interest price will change right agar brokerage add karoge ya deduct karoge from x interest then that price will change x interest price will change na so that price will come here net of brokerage samajh mein aaya 6 plus 9 is equal to 10 6 plus 9 is equal to 10 this you have to do only when you purchase the security the investment but when you sell the security what you have to do 6 minus 9 you have to subtract the selling expenses yes i have already told you that right so it can only be added or subtracted from x interest only so this is the calculation you have to do so let's do that so see here in the question what is happening let's go to the question on 1st december 2012 bull and bear company purchased 10000 of these debentures so what was the face value of these debentures 10000 10000 debentures were purchased and the face value was 100 as given in the question the face value the nominal value so 10000 10000 debentures into 100 that's equal to 10 lakh so the face value is 10 lakh right date of transaction is 1st december 2012 1st december 2012 the face value is 10 lakh and then what do you have to do immediately you have to calculate the interest isn't it jab bhi tum purchase karte ho kya hota hai whenever you purchase what happens whenever you purchase the investment see this example separate example right jab bhi tum investment purchase karte ho to kya hoga when you will purchase between the due dates some interest will be accrued है क्या नहीं जिससे तुम परचेज कर रहे हो या फ्रॉम द पर्सन हुम यू आर परचेजिंग या एग्जांपल मिस्टर पी या ही हैज बीन द ओनर ऑफ दोज डिबेंचर फॉर अ सर्टेन पीरियड सो ही इज द ओनर ऑफ द इंटरेस्ट फॉर दैट सर्टेन पीरियड इज इन डेट वो होल्ड करके है डिबेंचर फॉर टू मंथ्स थ्री मंथ्स समथिंग पीरियड तो उस पीरियड का इंटरेस्ट उसको मिलना है नहीं मिलना है उसको मिलना है राइट सो दैट्स वॉट वेन एवर यूल परचेज वॉट यू विल पे यू विल पे द कॉस्ट ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्स इंटरेस्ट प्राइस एंड यू विल पे अक्रूड इंटरेस्ट is that clear so you will have to calculate this interest properly so how will you calculate when you purchase to calculate when you purchase what you have to do is you have to do last due date yeah for the calculation of this last due date to the date of transaction t slash n yeah last due date to date of transaction now you'll understand in a second see here is very simple from to right so last due date was when last due date was see here last due date was 30th september right so can i not take 1st october the very next day i can right so 1st october 2012 because that's the starting period right last due date 
till the date of transaction last due date till the date of transaction so this much interest you will have to give to the seller you are purchasing the debentures from whoever you are purchasing to that person you will have to give the interest kyunki us waqt ka ye waqt ka interest ka malik kon hai that person yeah from whom you are purchasing so you have to give the interest as well as the cost of the investment it is also called as ex interest right so last due date till the date of transaction date of transaction kya hai first 12 12 hai na right so kitna hota hai october november right two months right see here 30th september so leave the september because it 30th right then october november and this is happening on 1st december so two months hai so do mahine ka interest kisko dena padega you will have to give this interest to that seller right so you will have to calculate that it's very simple कौन सी बड़ी बात है कैलकुलेट द इंटरेस्ट ऑन द फेस वैल्यू सो टेन लैक इज द फेस वैल्यू राइट टेन लैक इज द फेस वैल्यू वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट इन टू परसेंटेज इज वॉट जीरो पॉइंट ट्वेल्व इज इंट इट ट्वेल्व परसेंट डिवेंचर्स है ना सो जीरो पॉइंट ट्वेल्व इन टू इन टू वॉट इन टू टू बाई ट्वेल्व ओनली फॉर टू मंथस सो दैट्स इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज द इंटरेस्ट एंड देन इज द एक्स इंटरेस्ट प्राइस गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन X interest price नहीं दिया हुआ है X interest price is not given. Come interest price is given. See here, purchase ten thousand of these debentures at one not one come interest price. So now, how many debentures were purchased? Ten thousand debentures were purchased at come interest price one not one. That's equal to how much? Ten lakh ten thousand. So the come interest price is given to you in the question. So just deduct the interest, the accrued interest from come interest. You will get X interest. सिंपल है ना बहुत सिंपल है फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट द इंटरेस्ट डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम द कम इंटरेस्ट या माइनस द इंटरेस्ट व्हाट इज द इंटरेस्ट एक्रूड इंटरेस्ट ट्वेंटी सो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड माइनस यू विल गेट एक्स इंटरेस्ट प्राइस नाइन लैख नाइन्टी यस सो यू गॉट नाइन लैख नाइन्टी एस एक्स इंटरेस्ट प्राइस देन वॉट देन यू विल हैव टू कैलकुलेट द ब्रोकरेज हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट द ब्रोकरेज वॉट एवर द एग्जामिनर से जैसे एग्जामिनर बोलेगा वैसे करो सो हि द क्वेश्चन से इज Calculate the brokerage at one percent of come interest. So you have the come interest amount over here, ten lakh ten thousand. So take that ten lakh ten thousand. That's yeah, ten lakh ten thousand into zero point zero one. Right? See here, one percent. So zero point zero one. That's equal to ten thousand one hundred. Yeah, the brokerage. You have got the brokerage ten thousand one hundred. Then what do you do? Brokerage can only be added or subtracted from what? From X interest. Bola tha kya nahi bola tha? I have told you right. See here, brokerage. It can only be added or subtracted from X interest. Its का मतलब क्या है? Its का मतलब यही है. देखो अभी. You can only add or subtract the brokerage from X interest. So nine lakh ninety plus ten thousand one hundred is equal to ten lakh one hundred. See here, ten thousand one hundred brokerage plus the X interest nine lakh ninety. That's equal to ten lakh one hundred, right? So that's the net of brokerage. अब ये X interest बन गया है. This is your X interest now. Okay, this is the cost now. I've told you whenever you purchase, yeah, this is first transaction we have purchased the investment, right? Purchase the debenture. So whenever you purchase, what you have to do? You have to add, add, right? Whatever expenses you incur, you have to add. But when you sell, you have to deduct, right? So that's what. So now, what will happen now? This twenty thousand will go to interest column, and then this cost net of brokerage will go to investment column, the amount column, right? The amount column. Okay. So see the investment account. to bank account you have purchased the investment investment account is getting debited investment account is getting debited yeah to bank account like that right so 10 lakh is the face value you have purchased the debentures of 10 lakh face value and then the interest the accrued interest which you will pay right whenever you purchase what do you do you give the interest to the third party yeah to the seller right accrued interest you give so two month interest mo dena padega right along with the cost of the investment so what's the cost of the investment ये है कॉस्ट ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट टेन लैख वन हंड्रेड राइट सो दैट विल गो टू इन्वेस्टमेंट कॉलम टेन लैख वन हंड्रेड समझ में आया वेरी सिंपल मैन वेरी सिंपल राइट दिस कैलकुलेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट देन जस्ट ट्रांसफरिंग द अमाउंट्स आर वेरी सिंपल राइट यस देन वॉट हैपन्ड देन एज द क्वेश्चन सेज आफ्टर द परचेज ऑन फर्स्ट मार्च ट्वेंटी थर्टीन द फर्म सोल्ड ऑल ऑफ दीज डिवेंचर्स एट वन नॉट सिक्स कम इंटरेस्ट प्राइस अगेन द कम इंटरेस्ट प्राइस इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन Yeah, again paying brokerage at one percent of come interest amount, and the brokerage also you will have to calculate on come interest amount. No problem, we'll do that. What's the big deal about that? See here, buy bank account sale. Sale will always come on the credit side. Yeah, I've already told you that. So buy bank account on first March twenty thirteen. Yeah, nominal value ten lakh. All of the debentures are sold, right? All of the debentures. So total ten lakh total face value has been sold. 
all the 10,000 debentures, right, of 100 each. But then how did I take these amounts? Let's see that. See, it's very simple. Come interest price is directly given in the question, isn't it? They have told that you have sold at 106 come interest price. How many debentures you have sold? You have sold all the 10,000 debentures at 106. So you have got 10 lakh 60 as your as your come interest price but then do you have x interest no it's not given do you have interest no it's not given you have to calculate these two things so easy you can easily calculate so what is when you sell karte ho, when you will sell what you will do from the purchaser you will take the interest because you are the owner of the debenture for the entire period how is the entire period because see here properly you have paid the interest here this interest which you bought तब तुमने वो इंटरेस्ट दिया है, so now you are entitled to the entire interest, isn't it? To receive the entire interest, तो इसीलिए you when you will sell, you will take the entire interest till the due date, from the due date till the date of transaction, from the due date till the date of transaction. इधर भी वैसे किया था, from the due date till the date of transaction, from the due date till the date of transaction, and here till the date of transaction is first March. So see the calculation of accrued interest. The transaction is happening on 1st March 2013 and the face value is 10 lakh because all the debentures are being sold of 100 each. So 10 lakh is the face value. The period of interest calculation. What is period? This interest calculation ka period. Hai na? So from the due date, due date is same, right? Last due date, previous last due date, 1st October 2010, September, hai, the very next day lete hai, from the beginning of the period. So 1st October 2012 till the date of transaction. Date of transaction is 1st March 2013. Take that. So see here, October, November, December, January, February, right? Five, you will not take March because this is first March. Yeah, in dono ke darmiyan, kitne months hai? Between these two dates, how many months are there? Five months are there. So five months, yeah, so just calculate the interest, simple. You will always calculate the interest on the face value, isn't it? So on the 10 lakh into 0 0.12, the interest rate, and then five by 12, right? only 5 months interest into 5 divided by 12 that's equal to 50,000 so 50,000 is your interest accrued interest 50,000 and then to calculate the x interest what are you going to do just add the interest with come interest you will get the x interest 50,000 plus the come interest 10 sorry not add I mean subtract sorry sorry just subtract 50,000 minus 10 lakh 60 you get what 10 lakh 10,000 yeah so 10 lakh 10,000 is what x interest price is that clear simple as that yeah you have to subtract right let me show you the formula once again so that you will be clear with that where is it I have to keep searching over here where did I put that sorry I don't know where did I put it right so you just have to subtract okay come interest minus interest you will get X interest yeah you know that then you have to calculate the brokerage so the same thing 1% on the come interest price so 10 lakh 60 yeah 10 lakh 60 is come interest price into 0 0.011 percent so that's equal to 10,600 so 10,600 is the brokerage but then you can only add or subtract the brokerage from the x interest price so what are you going to do you are going to subtract the brokerage whenever you sell you have to subtract all the selling expenses from the selling price right so you have to subtract that always add or subtract from the x interest price so 10 lakh 10,000 minus 10,600 okay Take the x interest 10 lakh 10,000 minus the brokerage 10,600. That gives you the net of brokerage 9 lakh 99,400. Yeah, you get 9 lakh 99,400 as your net of brokerage. Yes, so now this will go to investment column and this will go to interest column. Simple as that. So see here, buy bank account sale 10 lakh. Yeah, this is the face value, nominal value, and then interest. This interest will go and here only x interest will go always remember in interest column accrued interest jayega in this amount column in investment column only the x interest will go the net of brokerage okay ye x interest hi hai mat socho ki ye x interest hai this is something else no we have just adjusted the x interest brokerage add or subtract karne ke baad ye x interest adjusted wala ban jata hai yes right so this is what you are done with the purchase and sale now due date ki entry bhi nahi aayegi right due date ki entry bhi nahi aayegi so where is the format see the format see the format closing balance is also not there why because you have sold the entire thing 10,000 liye 10,000 debenture bech diye right so nothing is left then what you have to do you have to balance it out right and you already know interest column 
interest column will always have balancing figure on which side on this side okay it has credit balance so it will always have balancing figure on the debit side on the debit side okay credit side will always be bigger to profit and loss on debit side why to profit and loss because this is an income right income account interest on investment income milta hai so it will go to profit and loss right so to profit and loss account balancing figure you have to take so see here 20000 over here and then here 50000 so this is bigger credit side always bigger hamesha interest ka column mein debit side mein figure aayega balancing figure okay 50000 20000 subtract those two 30000 isn't it simple right 50000 on the credit side right minus on the debit side there is 20000 then the balancing figure is 30000 so interest column has been tallied 50000 50000 then come to the investment column on the investment column what has happened see on the investment column we have purchased for 10 lakh 10 lakh 100 right we have purchased for sorry 10 lakh 100 and we have sold for 9 lakh 99 400 so we have made a loss 9 lakh 99 400 yes so we have made a loss of 700 yes so it will come by profit and loss account balancing figure now this is loss on sale okay let me write that this is loss loss on sale yeah i have written the note in the format here that the profit on sale always on the debit side of investment yeah and the loss on sale always on the credit side of the investment why because it has debit balance right so whenever there will be a profit it will be on the debit side whenever there will be a loss it will be on the credit side it's an asset account right investment account isn't it yes so this is all right simple simple problem nothing here right just i wanted to you know make you understand this calculation properly so i've chose this simple illustration one for your understanding yeah for fixed income bearing securities yeah so easy you understood how to do this easy right yeah so this is what you have to do it's very simple yeah just understand when you purchase you will have to pay the interest when you sell you have to receive the interest so you have to do the calculation accordingly it's very simple whenever you purchase last due date till the date of transaction yeah then the when you sell the same thing last due date till the date of transaction those are the shortcuts but when it comes to the you know receiving the interest on due date we'll see in the next problem then what you have to do due date to due date every 6 months you will be paid right so due date to due date and then yeah that's all yeah right and you already know accrued interest will only go to interest column and then only the ex interest price will go to the investment account column yeah yeah that's all that's all right see you in the next video yeah yes okay bye